Imagine a city where the constant rumble of engines fades into the gentle hum of sustainable technology. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered bus could make this vision a reality. This groundbreaking innovation has the potential to redefine urban transportation, offering a cleaner and greener alternative to conventional systems. Unlike traditional buses, it operates without fossil fuels, relying entirely on renewable energy to move. Its sleek, futuristic design stands as a symbol of progress in public transit. Chikambutso, an inventive mind from Zimbabwe, has dedicated years to perfecting this revolutionary technology. His work defies traditional energy models, proving that sustainability and high efficiency can go hand in hand. Cities worldwide struggle with pollution, traffic congestion, and soaring fuel prices. This self-powered bus presents a practical solution to these urgent challenges. By producing zero emissions, it helps urban centers meet their climate targets. The technology behind the bus is as impressive as its potential impact. Unlike electric buses that need regular charging, this vehicle generates its own power. It combines solar panels, kinetic energy recovery, and advanced electromagnetic systems. Energy is captured, stored, and reused with incredible efficiency, ensuring uninterrupted operation. Solar cells on the bus's exterior absorb sunlight, converting it into electricity. Regenerative braking systems harness kinetic energy, adding to the power supply. An onboard storage unit holds surplus energy for use during low generation periods. This self-sustaining design reduces reliance on external charging infrastructure. The implications for public transit are enormous. Cities could deploy these buses without expensive grid upgrades. Remote or underserved areas with unreliable power would benefit significantly. The technology scalability extends beyond buses to trucks, trains, and personal vehicles. The transportation sector, a major source of global emissions, could undergo a dramatic shift. Beyond environmental benefits, the bus improves urban life in multiple ways. Noise pollution, a persistent issue in crowded cities, would decrease substantially. The lack of engine noise creates quieter, more peaceful streets. Traffic flow could improve as these buses integrate with smart city networks. Real-time data sharing between vehicles and traffic signals optimizes routes. Commuters enjoy faster, more reliable trips without the usual delays. Public health would also improve due to cleaner air. Lower emissions mean fewer respiratory illnesses and healthier communities. The economic benefits of this innovation are equally compelling. New industries could emerge around manufacturing and maintaining self-powered vehicles. Skilled jobs in renewable energy and engineering would see growing demand. Local economies would thrive as cities invest in sustainable infrastructure. Developing nations, in particular, could adopt this affordable, low-maintenance solution. Energy independence becomes more attainable, reducing reliance on imported fuels. The social impact includes greater accessibility and equity in transportation. Lower operating costs could lead to cheaper fares for passengers. Marginalized communities, often left out of public transit, would gain better mobility options. Students, workers, and seniors would find commuting more convenient and affordable. Education and job opportunities expand as transportation barriers fall. This bus isn't just a vehicle, it's a driver of societal progress. Chikambutso's invention supports global efforts to fight climate change. As cities commit to cutting emissions, innovations like this become essential. Governments and investors must collaborate to accelerate adoption. Pilot programs in major cities could showcase the bus's viability. Public awareness campaigns would build trust and excitement around the technology. Skeptics may question its feasibility, but real-world testing will provide answers. Every revolutionary idea faces doubt before proving itself. The shift to sustainable transport requires bold action and collective effort. Individuals can contribute by supporting green initiatives and demanding cleaner options. Communities must advocate for infrastructure that prioritizes sustainability. The self-powered bus symbolizes hope, a real step toward a better future. It challenges us to rethink possibilities and embrace innovation. With determination and teamwork, future cities can be cleaner, quieter, 
and more efficient. The journey begins with one bus, but the destination is a transformed world. Chikumbutso's self-powered bus, a glimpse into the future? This self-powered bus isn't just transportation, it's a blueprint for a new era. Its ability to generate its own energy disrupts traditional mobility concepts. Conventional buses depend on diesel or grid electricity from fossil fuels. Chikumbutso's invention bypasses these limitations. Operating. Independently, this off-grid capability makes it adaptable to diverse urban and rural settings. Cities with unstable power supplies could deploy these buses without hesitation. The technology's resilience ensures reliable service in any condition. Engineers and scientists worldwide are taking note of this breakthrough. The bus's energy system merges multiple renewable sources for peak efficiency. Solar panels on the roof convert sunlight into electricity throughout the day. Kinetic energy from braking is captured and fed back into the system. An electromagnetic generator supplements these sources for continuous power. These integrated systems require minimal maintenance. Unlike battery-dependent electric buses, this model avoids long-term degradation. Energy storage uses advanced capacitors instead of lithium-ion batteries. This reduces weight, extends lifespan, and eliminates hazardous waste. The bus's lightweight, aerodynamic design enhances efficiency. Sleek contours minimize drag, ensuring smooth movement through streets. Construction materials are durable, recyclable, and eco-friendly. Every component balances sustainability with high performance. Passengers enjoy a quieter, smoother ride compared to traditional buses. The absence of engine noise and vibration enhances comfort. Interiors are designed for convenience, with spacious seating and modern features. Large windows maximize natural light, reducing artificial lighting needs. Smart climate control adjusts based on occupancy and weather. Real-time digital displays provide route, schedule, and energy updates. Accessibility features ensure inclusivity for all passengers, including those with disabilities. Low-floor boarding and secure wheelchair spaces improve usability. State-of-the-art safety systems include collision avoidance and emergency protocols. AI-driven navigation optimizes routes to prevent congestion and delays. Cities adopting this technology would see immediate traffic benefits. Reduced idling and smoother acceleration decrease overall congestion. Fewer traffic jams mean shorter commutes and higher productivity. The environmental impact goes beyond zero operational emissions. Manufacturing prioritizes low-carbon materials and ethical sourcing. End-of-life recycling minimizes waste, completing the sustainability loop. This cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach sets a new standard for green transit. The economic advantages are equally transformative. Operating costs plummet with no fuel expenses. Simplified maintenance comes from fewer moving parts and no complex engines. Savings can improve transit networks or reduce fares. Municipal budgets strained by fuel costs would find relief. Job creation in renewable energy sectors would boost local economies. Technicians trained in these systems would be highly sought after. Educational programs could emerge to meet workforce demands. The ripple effect would spur innovation across industries. Battery makers might pivot to advanced energy storage solutions. Urban planners could redesign infrastructure for self-sustaining transport. Smart cities might integrate these buses into broader IoT ecosystems. Traffic signals, parking systems, and energy grids could communicate seamlessly. Data from buses could optimize city layouts and reduce energy waste. Global adoption potential is vast, especially in developing nations. Countries with unstable grids could leapfrog outdated technologies. Remote areas lacking fuel access could gain reliable transit. Rural communities would connect to urban centers, boosting opportunities. Eco-conscious tourism destinations would benefit from green transit options. The bus's silent operation suits nature reserves and heritage sites. International collaborations could speed deployment in needy regions. Climate financing and green grants could support large-scale adoption. Public-private partnerships would drive innovation while ensuring affordability. Critics argue the technology is too new for widespread use. Skepticism stems from unfamiliarity, 
not flaws in design. Pilot programs in Harare and Johannesburg show promising results. Real-world data confirms reliability under diverse conditions. Further testing in different climates will strengthen its viability. Cold weather performance is improving with better insulation. Rainwater harvesting systems may further enhance sustainability. Each iteration refines the technology, bringing mass production closer. Adoption requires more than technological advancement. Public perception must shift to embrace radical innovation. Education campaigns can explain the science behind self-powered transit. Transparency in development builds public trust. Early adopters are crucial in proving practicality. Leading cities will set examples for others to follow. Policy changes must support renewable energy in public transit. Governments can incentivize adoption through subsidies and tax breaks. Regulations should adapt to accommodate new technologies. Infrastructure investments must prioritize sustainability over short-term fixes. The long-term benefits far outweigh initial costs. Health savings from cleaner air alone justify the transition. Reduced healthcare burdens free resources for other critical needs. Children in less polluted cities will enjoy better lifelong health. The ethical imperative to act is undeniable. Future generations depend on today's choices. Chikambutso's bus is more than machinery. It's proof of possibility. It shows human ingenuity can tackle even the toughest challenges. Collaboration between inventors, governments, and citizens will drive progress. The future city isn't a distant dream. It's an achievable reality. Every step toward sustainable transport brings us closer. This bus isn't the end. It's the start of a broader movement. Its success will inspire innovations across all sectors. From energy to agriculture, self-sufficiency principles can be applied. A world less reliant on finite resources is within reach. The journey begins with one bus but leads to a transformed civilization. The choice to embrace change lies with each of us. Will we cling to outdated systems or pioneer a better way? The answer will define our legacy. The exploration of Chikambutso's self-powered bus leaves us inspired and responsible. This technology isn't just an invention. It's a call to rethink society's foundations. The bus represents progress decoupled from environmental harm. Its success depends not just on engineering but on collective will. History shows transformative technologies face resistance before acceptance. Electric lights, cars, and smartphones were once doubted before becoming essential. This bus stands at a similar crossroads between skepticism and adoption. What sets it apart is urgency. Climate change won't wait. Delayed action deepens the crisis for future generations. Yet solutions like this bus remind us that despair isn't the only option. Human creativity, guided by ethics, can change our course. The bus's philosophy extends beyond transit. It redefines abundance. For centuries, progress meant extracting more from the planet. Now, we must harness what renews. Sunlight, motion, and ingenuity. This shift from extraction to regeneration is the true breakthrough. Critics will demand more data, longer trials, and risk assessments, rightfully so. But in a race against time, perfection can't stall progress. Pilot programs already prove viability on real roads. Every emission-free kilometer is a quiet revolution. Scaling this requires collaboration across sectors. Engineers refine, investors dare, policymakers enable, and citizens demand. This four-part formula, innovation, capital, governance, and public will, is key. Developing nations shouldn't wait for wealthier countries to lead. Leapfrogging outdated tech could make them sustainability pioneers. Imagine African cities exporting green transit knowledge instead of importing fossil tech. The bus's simplicity makes this reversal possible. Urban planners face a choice. Cling to dying systems or pivot boldly. Retrofitting cities for this bus is easier than maintaining combustion fleets. Charging stations, oil pipelines, and exhaust systems become obsolete. Public health savings alone could fund renewable transit networks. Asthma cases drop when kids no longer breathe diesel fumes. 
Workers gain productivity when commutes become stress-free. Neighborhoods rediscover birdsong without engine noise. These human benefits outweigh even the most impressive tech specs. Yet the bus is just the beginning proof of what's possible. Its energy systems could power schools, clinics, and homes off-grid. Emergency vehicles with perpetual power could save lives during outages. Mobile vaccination units could reach remote areas without fuel logistics. The technology's adaptability spans countless applications. This makes Chikambutso's work a true platform innovation. Like the steam engine or microprocessor, its potential spawns new industries. Young engineers seeing this bus may dedicate careers to sustainable invention. Students who witness it will internalize a new normal. The psychological impact of tangible solutions is profound. Climate anxiety fades when people experience alternatives firsthand. Hope becomes concrete, a bus you can ride today. The bus also redefines appropriate technology. Not low-tech for the poor and high-tech for the rich, but smart-tech for all. This democratizes innovation, bridging global inequities. A Nairobi market shuttle could equal a downtown circulator in Oslo. Such mobility parity is revolutionary. Challenges remain in sourcing, scaling, and policy frameworks. Rare earth minerals must be ethically mined or replaced. Production facilities need renewable energy to maintain green integrity. Trade agreements should favor sustainable transport over fossil fuels. These hurdles are navigable with focus and global cooperation. The alternative business as usual is guaranteed to fail. Climate refugees already outnumber war refugees globally. Coastal cities prepare for rising seas. Insurers withdraw from fire-prone regions. These are early warnings of the coming crisis. The self-powered bus won't single-handedly reverse these trends. But it models the mindset shift needed. Innovation for life. Every adopting city becomes a classroom. Visitors see working alternatives to pollution and noise. They take home not just blueprints, but the courage to change. This spread of proven solutions accelerates global transformation. The bus's quiet operation is a fitting metaphor. Real change often whispers before it roars. Solar panels don't shout like smokestacks. Regenerative systems hum where extractive ones explode. This is the future's aesthetic technology in harmony with nature. Chikambutso's African roots matter profoundly. Sustainability narratives have long centered on Western saviors. This bus reminds us brilliance blooms everywhere when opportunity exists. Decolonizing innovation unlocks global talent to solve global problems. Paris Agreement promises mean little without grassroots breakthroughs like this. Climate funds should flood such inventions with support. Philanthropists could find no better return than scaling this bus. The same goes for universities and corporate R&D teams. Collaboration must replace competition in the climate crisis. Patent pools could share core tech while rewarding inventors. The goal isn't market dominance but species survival. Historians may mark this bus as a turning point. The moment we design civilization as if the future mattered. Not as sci-fi but as practical engineering. What seems radical today will soon be standard. Our grandchildren will wonder why we burned plants to move. They'll study gasoline traffic jams like we study steam trains. This progression is inevitable, only the speed is in question. Every policymaker's vote, investor's dollar, and citizen's choice accelerates or delays. The self-powered bus removes excuses for inaction. The technology exists. The need is clear. The path is open. What's left is collective courage to act. Not toward vague promises, but a working prototype. A vehicle ready to carry us, literally and metaphorically. Its doors stay open. The only ticket required is willingness to change. Will we board?